Hi everyone. We're doing two pan-based dishes today. One that might be kind of typical and one that's a bit random. The first one is the random one. We're doing pizza in a pan and the session is called pan pan. Uh, the second dish we're going to do is kind of like a, a wrap. So a baked bean based wrap, kind of like a quesadilla or a, almost a bit like a burrito, but without the rice. We're going to do that in the pan too. So uh, yeah, we're going to get started in a second. Just waiting for our friends at Eat Club to join in. I'm currently logged in as Soapbox. So when those guys arrive, we're going to start cooking. I hope everyone's excited. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so um, for those of you who want to cook along, a couple of things you're going to need would be flour, um, tomato sauce or paste for the saucy bit, and then cheese and any optional toppings. All right, let's see. Uh, have we got our people here? Fantastic. Let's add them. Just waiting. I'm, I'm holding this pan for no good reason. I'll put it down in a second. I've invited Eat Club to join in. So as I was saying, flour, pizza sauce, um, various other bits and pieces, all very fun and flexible. Have we got our people joining? I think we do. Just adjust this camera a tiny bit. Here we go. Hey guys at Soapbox. Well, technically I'm Soapbox today, but um, Lucas and crew. Hello. Hey. How's Hi. it going? Can you hear me okay? I can. Can you hear me? Fantastic. Okay, so um, we're going to start with our flour. All Have right. you guys got all your bits and pieces? Yeah. Brilliant. And if you could turn around to join me on this side today, we're just mixing it up. Uh, all right, yeah, that's fine. So how do you mean? So vertically. Oh, you're doing it that way. All right, that's nice. So. Thank you so much. So I've said on the recipe, two cups of flour. Now I'm using self <laughs> Have you guys got regular or self-raising? The regular self-raising. Ah, uh, we've got self-raising. Perfect. Then we'll match them. So two cups of this. Um, so, I'm, I'm going to just literally... Uh, is this a cup? Dip it into a mug. Okay. Yep, yeah, that's kind of right. I'm, I've got a big mug, so I'm doing about three quarters of it there. I'm going to move the camera a little bit lower so you can see my bowl. Sure, sure. Okay. Right. Here we go. Fantastic. Two cups of flour. So two cups of flour. And to that we're going to add um, a, a, just a splash of olive oil. If you're being technical, I would say maybe 30 mils. So literally just splash like that little glug and then we're going to start with half a cup of water and we're literally topping that in there so half a cup all the way half in. a cup of water warmish it doesn't really matter if it's cold yeah it's warm i'm going to grab a spoon So you should be able to see here I'm just literally trying to get it into a dough. If you feel brave, you can use your hands. I use your hands, man. I'm not feeling that brave. No, come on, man. <laughs> That's the best way of cooking. I just had an, a nail pedicure. I can't do that. Um, you had a pedicure yeah. or a manicure? Same thing. I don't know. Well, if you had a pedicure, that means you're trying to knead your dough with your feet. So um, that definitely... <laughs> <laughs> All right, mine's gotten a little bit wet, so I'm going to add a tiny bit more flour. How's your texture more... looking? It's looking very unwatered. Yeah, unwatered. We yeah. want it fairly firm because we're not actually going to roll this like you would typically roll. Do we want roll. it flaky or do we want it doughy? I feel, I feel like you should use your hands, you know. Do you want me we to use... want it to be a little bit flaky oh, because this is going to go straight into a pan. And that reminds me, let's get our pan heated to a medium heat. So I've got a pan like this. It's a, basically a deep frying pan. 
I mean, let's get that on a medium uh, heat. Soap, sea soap. No, I'm washing it now, yeah. Extra clean. There we are. Alright, let me stick in, let me stick in my hands in there. So, can you see the texture of my dough? Oh. Sorry? Can you see the texture of my dough? Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, so we need a bit more water. That's maybe. kind of what you're aiming for. Yeah. And then when you start pulling it together, which okay. I'll show in a second, there we, go. we want a little bit more dough for your board. Some gooey flour in your dough. Keep going. So this is my board, chopping board. I'm putting some flour down on there so that that will help with the dough. Just spreading right. it out a little bit. Oh, you... There's a big board. Yeah, well, I'm just going to get a, grab a bigger one, so... So you know when you go to an Italian place and you kind of wave the dough around in the air? We're yeah. going to do a basic version of that. Uh, so I'm going to tip the dough from my bowl let's put some flour onto on. that chopping board. Right. Have you guys ever made pizza in a pan before? No, no. I've made it in the oven with dough that we've So we're made. all done new for the first time. I like that. I've not done it before either, but Jamie Oliver made this recipe quite famous. And I always like the idea of it because sometimes you're living in a place that doesn't have a good oven, or actually my oven here is really loud. So if I put that oven on, you wouldn't be able to hear me. So it's good to have some recipes where I'm not using the grill, not oh, using yeah. the oven. All right, so here is what my dough looks like. It's quite gloopy. Is yours a little drier? Yeah, yeah it was a bit moist. So we put a little bit more flour to it. And I think it's quite hard to get it exact, right? It's just kind of like a- I think it's all right now. Playful yeah. kind of yeah. how it goes sort of recipe. Yeah, I think that. Yeah. I'm doing some kind of like fancy, uh, you want it gloopy enough that when you pull it like that, it stretches. Like this? Yes. Yeah. I think with yours, try and get it into a ball and see if it stretches by itself. So if you put it into a ball and then lift it up, yeah. will it stretch? Uh, with, with some shaking. <laughs> do you mind? It's kind of falling when I do yeah, that? Yeah, oh, look. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is your frying pan quite warm? Yeah, it's warmed up quite nicely. Brilliant. We're going to put a glug of olive oil into that pan, and then we're going to spread our dough out in that pan. So, again, you want your dough to be fairly loose, so you might want to add a tiny bit of water, but perhaps you can push it down with that anyway. Oh, there we go. So in a second, I've got really doughy hands. In a second, I'm going to move my camera so you can see my hob, and you're going to see me try and make this Picture. magic happen so go. normally with pizza dough you guys would use like a typical kind of bread dough with yeast yeah so yes. when you're doing it with self-raising flour it's kind of like a little bit of a cheat but kind of a a fun cheat i think it doesn't reheat as well so if you're going to have it the next day it might not be quite as tasty but certainly yeah. on the first day fantastic Wow, I have really doughy hands, so I'm going to try and get off as much as I can before I move the camera. <laughs> oh, doughy. Doughy. Very doughy. So where do we go from here, Summer? All right, let's move this. All right, so hopefully you guys will be able to see my hob in a second. Yeah. And my phone may hopefully not overheat. Please, phone, don't overheat. All right, so you can't see my, you can't see it there. Can you let me move it then? All right, if I move that there, I can put it on the middle one. Yeah, that'll be fine. The good thing about this kitchen is that it's quite a big, quite a big range. Mm -hmm. All right, so I've now got my hot pan. Yeah. And we're going to put in, in that hot pan, what a glug pizza? of oil. Pizza, put some oil in. Whoa, okay. And we're going to take so that just gonna... Yeah. We're basically just going to stretch it in that pan. So, obviously, be careful with the hot pan. Just going to dump it like that, and then kind of push it down. You oh, can see me sort of patting. It's so long. Oh, and we're sort of trying to brown one side of it. 
And there's two different schools of thought. One school of thought says you can brown both sides of the pizza base. The other school of thought says that you should only be... Oh, wrong one. Ah, that light should help. Um, that you should put the toppings in the grill. But I'm a fan of trying to do everything in the pan. So once I've got this flat enough, I'm going to show you. But essentially, you're spreading out that dough. Oh, you guys are not in the pan yet, right? Uh, I'm just trying to stretch out before I put it in the pan. Because okay. our pan's hot and I don't want to unevenly It might it. even be easier for you to roll it rather than make it wetter. Yes, Matt, that's a good idea. You don't have a roll. We don't have a very good roll. We can, we, can, we can use something else, Matt. I don't like that idea. Why not? It's being it's, creative, man. It scares me. Don't you want to be creative? I do, but your creative ideas do tend to scare me. No, so while you guys are doing that, let me just say a word about what Soapbox and Eat Club do. So Soapbox is a tech organization working with young people, giving them access to new skills. You can learn more about them on soapboxislington.co.uk. You can also message them directly on Instagram. Eat Club, on the other hand, is a food-based charity. We teach young people to cook and um, try new things in healthy, inventive, budget-friendly ways. Um, whether you want to be a chef or a restaurateur, you can come and learn skills with us. If you cook along with any of our videos, please take a picture, tag us in it, and you could win £25 in Amazon vouchers, um, which is really fun. So you only have to tag in four pictures, and you'll be entitled to win those. Uh, like I said, today we're doing so pizza in a pan, but we're also going to do, um, in the next session, we're going to do pan toasted, kind of like wraps that have uh, an Indianish flavour. It's going to be a little bit random, but it's going to be fun. That looks great, guys. Yeah. So you've got that in your oil. Yeah. And we're going to let that sit for another couple minutes. We just got ours. If your hands are really doughy, give them a wipe. <laughs> uh, cooking's fun, you know. I enjoy cooking. What are you doing to my mom? Yeah? Now, for onion toppings, I'm going to work with... Sorry, not onion toppings. Pizza toppings. I'm going to work with an onion, mushrooms, and cheese. Oh. What are you guys going to use for your toppings? Um, what do we have? We have onion. Yeah. Oh. We have some nice mushrooms. I see burger sauce. Fantastic. So I'm going to get on chopping this onion, and I'm going to chop my mushrooms too. I'm probably only going to put half an onion in this pizza because it's not a massive pizza we're probably going to put a quarter in because ours looks a bit smaller is it small yeah. did you guys um divide your dough or is this all your dough this is all of it i think this is fine I don't think yeah this is going to be quite like a dense i think filling because we've got a big pan um, you've got a big pan that's true i'm going to grab a spatula and um just lift up just to see, has it, has it browned at all yet? Oh, it's getting browned. What is that, Summer? So you, you guys have, I think, a thinner base than I do, which I think is going to make it nice and crispy. Mine's a bit fatter, but in a good way. Fat, fat in a good way. <laughs> all right. All right, cool. This is leave it and submit it be. We're cooking, bro. Oh. Okay, you got your right, yeah. chop up board. Let's chop up. Should we chop up some mushrooms? You do that, buddy. I'm gonna get rid of. I'm gonna chop about three mushrooms, I think. Medium-sized mushrooms. One. These are yeah, big mushrooms. Oh. Big mushroom. Don't call me a bit. Can I let me chop them? Did you do it last time? Let me get the onion ready. Onions. I love my onions. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you prefer, red onions or normal onions? I can hear you guys asking about onions. That's a good question. <laughs> would you, I Summer, like... prefer, Summer, would you prefer red onions or normal onions? I like red onions, personally. Um, I think they're a tiny bit sweeter. But they also have more colour in them, and generally yeah, when fruit and vegetables have more colour, they have more nutrients. So over white grapes, red onions over white onions, sweet potatoes over regular potatoes. Oh, sweet potatoes! All right, you guys, I'm going to show you the underbase. 
of my pizza. You see how that's kind of gone a little bit crunchy, a little bit brown? I hope you can tell. Yeah. Flip it now. A little bit like a giant pancake. Yeah. Okay. So you can see the side is really nice and brown. Yeah? Beautiful. So I'm going to put that back on the hob. And I'm going to squeeze it down a tiny bit. Try and get that dough to... Whoa! Has yours gone brown? Uh, it's like a golden syrupy colour. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. You can definitely brown it if you want, or you can leave it like a medium colour. Uh, I'm going to start frying these onions. Now, did you guys get any sort uh, of like it paste brown, or yeah. sauce? It's not ready. What was that, Summer? Have you got a tomato paste or tomato sauce? We do, we do. I like barbecue based on my, on my pizza. What I've done here is I've mixed up tomato puree, and then I'm going to add in it some hot pepper sauce, because I like my food spicy. So, Sounds like a grill. And we need some chili. Don't forget the chili. So how much tomato puree are you putting in, Summer? Um, do we have I put in about two tablespoons, and then maybe another tablespoon of chili sauce. So mix it all up in a little espresso cup. There is always chili in this building. I can't be near those onions. <laughs> I know you guys tend to have debates about that. <laughs> all right. I'm literally just going to dribble that on to the cooked side of the pizza now. So you can see that that tomato sauce is going to get spread out in a second. We don't have tin tomatoes. We only have tomato puree. Should I add some water That's to this? That's the best one, man. I would thin it a tiny bit. You can thin it with yeah. some olive oil or you can thin it with lemon juice or just water. Either one is fine. Like mm -hmm. I said, I put a little bit of Tabasco kind of sauce in mine. <laughs> and I'm just going to bend it around on that pizza like that. Yes, Okay. All right. Then I'm gonna grate some cheese. Do you guys have cheese? Now, ideally, you want to use like, a good mozzarella, but I don't have any fancy cheese, so I'm just gonna grab my grate and grate some regular cheese. All right. We've got some cheddar. Good. I think I've got some goat's cheese here, like regular I'm goat's gonna cheese. Fry, I'm going to fry the mushrooms. I'm going to start frying the mushrooms. You don't have to fry the mushrooms. I'm going to put them on as they are, but you can definitely eat, like caramelize them if you'd like. Well, I've got my tiny bit of them, so I'm going to fry them. So I'm only going to grate a little bit of cheese, I'm trying to keep this a little bit healthy if I can. All right, so I have a slight sprinkle of cheese. I'm just going to put that on top of my warmed through tomato puree. Being spicy. And what you can do at this point is that you can put the lid on to help that cheese melt. Yeah. I'm going to add my mushrooms first and my onions and then I'm going to put the lid on to help it melt. I don't mind too much if it hasn't melted. Especially if you're using um, a mozzarella that is kind of like a really beautiful mozzarella. You can leave that almost uncooked. Oh, if you had said mozzarella, I would have got that. But it's a bit late yeah, now. I know. I should have That's specified, fine. huh? I love mozzarella. Do you guys like the I mozzarella that comes in like that comes in sort of circles and spheres? And what are they called? Blobs. The kind of mozzarella you get in like a posh restaurant, you know? Yeah. So I'm well, gonna spread my onion out on top. And if you guys had any fresh herbs, you can totally put fresh herbs on there. All right. I'm actually very excited to eat this pizza. I'm going to wash my hands because they're a bit of a mess.
Here we go. So we're doing okay for time. I know you guys are looking behind me. I seem to have sped ahead today. You're sauteing your mushrooms, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. If you wanted to put your onions with those mushrooms, you could. Yeah. If you prefer them a little bit cooked, not a problem. Uh, are we putting the tomato puree on the pizza now as well? Yes. So I'll show you mine again. I laid out the tomato puree, and then I put the cheese on top, and then the mushrooms and the onions on top. So generally, because we're not grilling the top of our pizza, use toppings that you're happy to eat a little bit raw. So it yeah. might be sweet corn, it might be, um, ooh, what else would you put? Olives, for example. But then again, you can also do the, put it under the grill route. So if you wanted to put this under a grill, you could definitely do it that way to melt the cheese and to make your toppings a little bit toastier. Yeah, sure. This is almost like an open top sandwich, if that makes yeah. it more slip, more sort of logical. I'm going to check the underside of my pizza now. Oh, that's browned too. I'm very excited that my pizza has browned on both top and bottom. And now, I guess, once that cheese is a little bit more melted, I'm going to dig in. So I know you guys have a few minutes to go still before you're ready to eat. Um, we're going to do another video in a couple of minutes. I can see that um, a couple of people are commenting about the spice on our yeah, video. Spice, don't worry. Did you see that? Um, Life of a care lever is a uh, wanting you guys to make it spicy. They put in a bunch of chilies in there. Uh, I'm glad you approve of the spice. It makes life exciting, right? Variety is the spice of life, or spice is the variety of life. I can say it either way. <laughs> All right, is your cheese grated? Is your cheese ready to go, guys? Burn it now. Yeah. Grating it now. So once you've got your cheese on there, it will begin to melt because your pan should still be warm. And in fact, if you wanted to put your hot onions and your hot mushrooms on top of your pizza right now, that'd be fine as well, since they're all warm. Burning up grated cheese is quick Say that again. I don't think I've ever grated cheese this quick in my life. Oh, you guys are being super fast. To be honest, this recipe is, I would say it's more of a half an hour recipe rather than a 20 minute recipe. But I yeah. think we've done a really fantastic job in getting most of it knocked out of the park. Look at that, that looks beautiful. Yum. I'm gonna get mine out now and chop it in front of you guys so you can see. There's my spatula. Look at this, yummy. Mm. Get down on my chopping board. So if I scroll that down a little, you can see. Um, I'm going to cut a slice now. Can you guys smell it? Does it smell good? Yeah. Mine smells good. Okay. Do you guys have a pizza slicer? It's so much easier to slice a pizza with a pizza slicer. Uh, yeah, we do. I'm using my knife and fork, really. That looks fantastic, you guys. And you grated your cheese fine, which also makes it melt easier. Yeah, I hope so. So I'm going to cut myself a mini slice and show you guys. I think I'm going to leave mine in the grill for a bit to help this Yeah, cheese. absolutely. Feel free to do that. Here's a slice of my pizza. The underside is nice and brown. Look at that brown. Oh, very impressed. I'll give it a little taste. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. So good. 
Right, I'm going to sit mine on the grill bit. Right. And I'm just going to... I hope you guys have enough to share. I've only made enough for one person, so... Um, ideally, you guys have made enough for more than just one. Alright, I'm going to say goodbye to you guys here. And see you back in four minutes. And we're going to do a second video. This time, I'm going to sign in as a club. And you guys are going to sign in as a soapbox. And we're going to do a different kind of pan-based dish. Yeah? See you guys in three, four minutes. Yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah.